Right now at noon, the Dane County Sheriff's Office is giving people a final chance to ask questions on an upcoming body cam pilot program. Plus, President Biden and former President Trump are at the southern border today holding events. This is the battle between the political front runners heading up. This is News 3 Now at Noon. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Catherine Merck filling in today. A popular downtown Madison restaurant and bar will stay open after a proposed developer was looking to demolish it. Vintage's co-owners turned the nearly 100-year-old building on the corner of University Avenue and North Francis Street into the bar it is today back in 2002. It went on to become a staple in the Madison community. However, the fate of the bar was in doubt after the Cary Group, who was looking to replace it with a high-rise. But none of those plans are going forward anymore. And we just could not compete with the offer that the investment group was willing to give. So it was a very bittersweet um, last 14 months. And so to hear the news, it was such a relief. We, it was just like happy tears and exciting, like excited to tell the staff, especially. A statement posted on the bar's Facebook page reads in part, we want to extend a heartfelt thank you to our incredible customers and team for your unwavering support. Your loyalty and patronage means the world to us and we wouldn't be here without you. Today is the last chance to attend a meeting on the Dane County Sheriff's body camera pilot program. The Sheriff's Office is launching the one-year program with 32 deputies. Sheriff's Office officials say the program will help the department test body cameras while also developing future policies and guidelines for how to use them. You can bring any questions or concerns you have about the program to the Middleton Town Hall at 6 o'clock tonight. That's on Old Sock Road in Verona. To learn more about the pilot program before attending that meeting, we got more on our website right now at channel3000.com. With a blast of warm weather in the last week, it's no surprise that the Wisconsin State Climatology Office is declaring that Lake Mendota and Minona are open. It's the second earliest ice off date declared in the office's 171 year history of charting Mendota's ice cover with just a 44 day freeze. For Lake Minona, that was its shortest period of ice cover on record. The declaration means that the lakes have less than 50% ice coverage, so they're no longer gonna be safe for people to be able to walk on. Temperatures are starting to warm back up. Meteorologist Kelly Slipka has a look at your certified Morse accurate forecast. Kelly? Yeah, there's no threat for any of those lakes freezing anytime soon, even though we did have a cool morning uh, this morning, about 24 hours of some cool weather, but already starting to feel a lot better out here this uh, noon hour as we've got the sun and the winds uh, are, are out of the south. You can see we have crystal clear blue skies right now looking at our Edgewater sky cam, and we are looking at a lot of sunshine today. And uh, you can see across most of the state, you, know, you have to go way into northern Wisconsin to see any kind of cloud cover, and a lot of that is uh, uh, just some thin high clouds. But we're looking at a windy day, and it's going to be milder. Each day over the next uh, several days going into the weekend are going to be warmer than the day before. In fact, we could be getting very close to a record high of 70 on Sunday. It's going to be windy the next few days, but our next chance of rain will hold off until Sunday night and Monday when we have a chance of showers and even some storms. All right, 35 right now in Madison, 37 in Middleton. It is uh, 37 right now in Verona as well. Temperatures in the 30s here, but you notice already into the lower 40s in southwestern Wisconsin. So all that warm air is headed our way. We're uh, quite a bit warmer than where we were yesterday at this time. In fact, we're seeing 15 to 25, even 30 degrees warmer, especially areas to the west uh, this afternoon. We do have to deal with the wind. It's out of the south, and that will be up there at about 15 to 25 miles per hour uh, throughout the afternoon. And even into the evening, they'll come down a little bit, but still uh, quite breezy going into tonight. And that'll keep these temperatures up from where they were this morning when we drop down into the lower teens. A lot of sunshine today as we climb uh, through the uh, 30s into the... Uh, 40s, looking at highs in the mid 40s today with the sunshine, that breezy, uh, let's call windy south wind up there at 15 to 25. Looks like this warm weather will continue into the weekend, but there are some changes coming our way next week. We'll have the uh, first warm forecast coming up. All right, thank you so much, Kelly. This weekend, the first lady will be in Wisconsin. Dr. Jill Biden is returning an effort from the president's campaign to turn out more female voters. This is all part of a larger tour of battleground states that will end on March 3rd. The tour begins with the start of Women's History Month. This marks Biden's second visit to Wisconsin in less than a month. No word yet on where she'll be visiting. We're also learning Vice President Kamala Harris will be visiting Madison next Wednesday. The Vice President is expected to highlight the Biden administration's efforts to promote union gro job growth and apprenticeship programs. So far, the White House has not released additional e details on the trip. Harris last visited the state back in January when she kicked off her tour focusing on abortion access. 
The political battle between Donald Trump and President Biden over immigration policy will be on full display today at the southern border. Two front runners in this year's campaign will hold dueling events along the Rio Grande. Ed O'Keefe is in Brownsville, Texas, where President Biden plans to be today. Under Biden, we now have the worst border in the history of the world. The only reason the border is not secure is Donald Trump and his MAGA Republican friends. There have been a record 2.4 million migrants apprehended at the border in just the past fiscal year. The president and congressional Republicans are blamed about equally for failing to come up with a solution. So as he continues pushing Republicans to act, the president is coming to Brownsville, where illegal border crossings are now down, says Chris Cabrera, who leads the local Border Patrol Union. I'm glad, glad he's finally here, but I think uh, the timing's a little off. I mean, if he would have come a year ago, two years ago, three years ago, I think it would have been a good thing to, to see that, hey, I have a problem area. Recent attempts to pass a bipartisan deal were blocked by Republicans at the urging of former President Donald Trump. I think we killed it. I think it's dead. Today, he'll be about 325 miles to the west of the president in Eagle Pass, the center of a standoff between the Republican Governor Greg Abbott and federal officials over how to police the border. It's overkill to me. Adam Rodriguez owns a business near the park and has lived in Eagle Pass for 30 years. We're known around town and through other small towns in the area as illegal pass. But Rodriguez says that's unfair. We've raised our kids here, you know, and, and there's never been any criminal element. You don't have to worry about walking down the street. A key reason both presidential contenders, of course, are on the border is because concerns about illegal immigration and border security have become a top voter concern. And remember, House Republicans have been holding up spending legislation that might lead to a government shutdown and aid to Ukraine and Israel over concerns about what to do here along the border. A reminder, it's going to be a central campaign issue all year long. Ed O'Keefe, CBS News, Brownsville, Texas. The Supreme Court will decide whether Jack Smith can prosecute Donald Trump on charges that he tried overturning the 2020 election. Trump argues he has immunity. He was the president when the alleged conduct happened. The court's decision will likely come in late June. This, as yet another state, seeks to remove Trump from its primary ballot. An Illinois judge making that decision yesterday. Right now, the court is in the process of ruling whether the states have the authority to do that. Meanwhile, congressional leaders say they've reached a tentative agreement to keep the government open temporarily, and that'll soon have a long-term plan in place to fund the government. Leaders say they've agreed on a continuing resolution to keep the government open through March 8th. That continuing resolution gives them until the 22nd to fund the rest of the government. Lawmakers say they'll hold votes on legislation to do that next week. Still ahead for us this afternoon, why Chrysler is recalling thousands of Jeep Grand Cherokee SUVs. Plus, the FAA is giving Boeing a set time to fix its quality control for the 737 MAX jetliner. That's up next. Take an extra day to save on appliances during Furniture and Appliance Mart's Leap Day Sale. We're offering our biggest savings on top brand appliances. Plus, get special interest-free financing for 48 months. This sale comes only once in four years at Furniture and Appliance Mart inside Ashley. To everyone who believes in tradition, come enjoy a few of ours from Wisconsin. People in Wisconsin love a good fish fry. Really love. And we love sharing it with guests everywhere. At Culver's, we still batter our North Atlantic cod by hand to order. And we cook it to a crispy, golden perfection just for you. For you. For you. So it's crispy outside, flaky inside. Let us take care of you. With some homegrown traditions we were raised on. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome to Delicious. The Big Share is Tuesday, March 5th. This online day of giving hosted by Community Shares of Wisconsin is an easy way for you to support nearly 70 local nonprofits working on social and environmental justice. Donate now through March 5th at thebigshare.org. A traditional performer of great country music. How it felt that day. It's Daryl Worley. Performing live Saturday, March 9th at Hoodshot Gaming, Wisconsin Downs. Tickets are on sale now through Ticketmaster. An incredible night with country music superstar Daryl Worley. March 9th at Ho-Chunk Gaming, Wisconsin Dells. Your odds are better here. Does your roof look great from the ground, but yet it's still leaking? We see roofs every day that look great, but the important details weren't done correctly. 
With the average cost of a replacement roof being north of $25,000, that might not be what you need. Let one of our specialists give you a free 16-point inspection and let you know exactly what's really wrong with your roof and show you how we can restore it, saving you thousands. Remember, when you think roofing, think Larson, Wisconsin's best roofing experience. If you have Medicare and Medicaid, you may be eligible to get extra benefits with iCare's dual eligible special needs plans. Our members get $1,800 per year with a card that's loaded monthly to pay for items such as eligible groceries, over-the-counter items, rent, and utilities. Whatever you don't spend carries over each month. Call us today and a licensed sales agent will help you find out if you're eligible. Rest easy. iCare is looking out for you and your health. Take an extra day to save during Ashley's Leap Day Sale. We're offering our biggest savings store-wide. Plus, get special interest-free financing for 48 months. This sale comes only once in four years, only at Ashley. The FAA has given Boeing 90 days to fix quality control for its 737 MAX jetliner. The edict follows a report that found shortcomings in the company's safety culture. Crashes of two 737 MAX jetliners in 2018 and 2019 killed 346 people. Boeing is also facing pressure from an incident last month when a section of one of its passenger jets blew off in midair, forcing an emergency landing. Chrysler is recalling more than 338,000 Grand Cherokee SUVs. The company says a steering wheel issue may cause drivers to lose control of their vehicles. The recall involves some Grand Cherokees from the 2021 through 2023 model years. In the past week, Chrysler issued two other recalls covering more than 200,000 vehicles. And Wendy's is hoping to set the record straight after getting a frosty reception to its dynamic pricing plan. The burger chain says it will not surge prices during busy times. Wendy says its new digital menu board will allow individual stores to drop prices for certain items during non-peak hours. That's your CBS News Money Watch report. For more, log on to CBSMoneyWatch.com. At the CBS Broadcast Center, I'm Carissa Lawson. Here's a look at the stock report at the noon hour. The Dow is down 29, NASDAQ up 82, S&P 500 up 9. And today is the last day you can vote for your local favorites for Madison Magazine's Best of Madison. With today being the last day you'll be able to vote, you can only be able to vote for one local favorite in each category. Those categories include food, arts and entertainment, fitness, and more. So for more information on how to cast your votes, make sure you head over to the story on channel3000.com. Up next, we'll have today's Ag Prices Plus. Kelly's back with the complete forecast. And then later on Live at 4, it only comes once every four years. We'll have a guest that will show you some fun and rewarding ways you can celebrate Leap Day. Transform your yard into something you can be proud of. From initial design to complete finished installation, Maple Leaf will design a yard that'll be the envy of the neighborhood. Maple Leaf Landscaping, your year-round property care specialists. Just look for the orange leaf. There's still time. Come in and test rest a Beautyrest Black Mattress for your chance to win a dream vacation to Hawaii. Right now, get a Beautyrest Queen Mattress for only $3.99. Or upgrade your sleep to the Beautyrest Black with the most advanced cooling technology and pressure-relieving foams, allowing for maximum freedom of movement. Plus, you'll get $300 in Steinhoffel's cash. Shop in-store or online at steinhoffels.com. Relax, it's Steinhoffel's. It's High V's Mega Meat Sale this Friday through Sunday. Fresh ground beef, just $1.98 for a one pound roll. Jimmy Dean bacon, just $2.99. Pork loin back ribs, just $2.98 a pound. Bone in pork shoulder roast, just $1.68 a pound. Eight ounce America's Cut chops, three for just $5. And High V quality deli ham, just $4.99 a pound. Don't miss the Mega Meat Sale this Friday through Sunday, only at High V. Watch the Bucks on broadcast TV when they battle with the Bulls on your new local home for select Bucks games. Don't miss a second of the action as the Bucks head to the Windy City to tip off with their interstate rivals. It's a battle on the border. Bucks, Bulls, 
on your new local home for select Milwaukee Bucks games. Friday at 9 on Television Wisconsin. Do you know the secret to having the perfect lawn? Maple Leaf Landscaping does. With their six-step turf care program, you can have a beautiful lawn all season long. Check their website for special discounts and leave the yard work to Maple Leaf, your year-round property care experts. On the Jennifer Hudson Show, Magic Johnson shares a legendary story. That was really Michael calling you. <laughs> no! <laughs> Plus, Nicole Avant's powerful memoir. I hear her every day. On the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3. Tonight at 10, it's a prescription you won't find on pharmacy shelves. I'll take you inside of a local hospital where healing hands are hard at work. We'll see why this program is making a powerful difference. It's uh, life-giving both ways. Tonight at 10. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Welcome back. Your time is 12.15. Pam Yonke from the Midwest Farm Report is in Green Bay the rest of the week. She'll be back on Monday, so here are your farm numbers. We'll be back on Monday. Massive wildfires are growing fast in Texas, creating new dangers for firefighters. One fire in the Texas Panhandle is among the largest in state history. Dave Malkoff is in one town that was badly hit by the fire. The Smokehouse Creek Fire in the Texas Panhandle has already scorched more than 850,000 acres, bigger than the size of Rhode Island. They sent the fire trucks and uh, the deputies came out and forced us to leave. The fire, now the second largest on record in Texas, has left towns in ruin. That's about all that's left in my bedroom right there. Teresa Rankin lost her home of 38 years. It burned to the ground in the town of Canadian. I got in my Jeep and I looked and saw that I said, oh my gosh, this is not good. There are at least four other fires burning in the Texas panhandle and they've crossed the state lines over to western Oklahoma. Texas officials say a break in the weather may not last long. Once the winds pick up, firefighting efforts will become difficult. I don't want the community to there to feel a false sense of security that all of these fires will not grow anymore. This is still a very dynamic situation. Back in Canadian, Teresa Rankin says she's looking forward to when she can rebuild her home. You lace up your shoes and you do what you got to do, and I got to have a home. Teresa also told me you either get bitter or you get better in something like this. She plans to tear down the house and rebuild on this exact same site. But unfortunately, there's another family south of here near Amarillo who lost their 83-year-old grandmother in this fire that could grow because of all this wind. In Canadian, Texas, I'm Dave Malkoff, CBS News. Time to get a look at your certified most accurate forecast. Kelly Slipka has more on the weather patio. Yeah, you know, they're talking about the uh, fires in Texas. We've got an elevated fire risk today because of the uh, dry conditions, the uh, brown can uh, conditions, the vegetation still brown, still dormant. And now we've got the winds and the humidity is going to be between 20 and 30 percent today. So be cautious out there. You can see on uh, our uh, sky cam looking from the Edgewater Hotel, the uh, lake is open now for the most part, just some ice 
on the periphery. 46 expected today. We're down to 30 tonight, so quite a bit milder than what we woke up to this morning with lower teens. Our average, though, now is 37, and the sun doesn't set for quite a while now. We should see plenty of that sunshine gradually warming up the next couple of days into the weekend. I think we'll actually peak out on Sunday, but those winds today and tomorrow will be out of the south at 15 to 25, and that creates a, a higher, higher fire risk as well. Our next chance of rain will hold off until Sunday night and Monday, so we've got some nice weather, at least as far as our temperatures are concerned, and lots of sunshine, and we only have that one colder than average day. That was yesterday, obviously, with temperatures only in the 30s, and that actually occurred at midnight, mainly in the 20s throughout the day. Uh, this has been the trend, though. We get these cold fronts, and they only last a day or two. That's what we've been dealing with, basically, for the last month. All right, thanks. Uh, uh, Darlene for sending this in the full moon. This was last week when we had a full moon and on those really warm temperatures, maybe not as warm as what we saw uh, over the weekend, but we are expecting temperatures to warm into the mid 40s today. So running uh, over 10 degrees above average. So the cold air that we had uh, yesterday and this morning is now retreating warm front passing through and that's why it's warming up fairly quickly. Uh, this afternoon, we should see these temperatures climb uh, through the 40s. And actually, the temperatures will continue to climb as we're going to be under a warm air mass throughout the weekend. In fact, I think we'll actually peak out on Sunday. We could be flirting with another record high. The record is 70. We should be in the upper 60s. We do drop our temperatures next week, but this is still above our average, and our average will be up into the lower 40s by next week. Jet stream way up to the north. We've got the milder conditions moving in from the south and west. The cold air bottled up to the north end of Canada, and we'll be under a southwest flow. So that's going to continue to bring in some mild temperatures into the weekend. We do have a system that will come in Monday that will bring us a chance for some rain, maybe even some thunderstorms, and then some cooler weather to follow. But in general, we're still going to be above average. You really have to go way out west to see anything cooler than average. But the eastern two-thirds of the United States should be above average for the next six to ten days. So our future track looking at a lot of sunshine today. Mid-40s this afternoon. If you are headed out this evening, won't be as cold as yesterday. As temperatures fall through the 30s during the evening. Now, it's going to be windy today with these southwest winds up there at 15 to 25. And even as the sun goes down, it still will be fairly windy yet uh, going through the evening with those winds at 15 to 20 miles per hour. Right now, 35 in Madison, you can see the 40 stretched out to the west, a little cooler to the north and east as all that colder air is retreating to the north and east, and already 40 in Middleton, while it's 35 currently in Verona. All right, our first one forecast, 46 today, uh, sunshine all over the place. That'll be the same case tomorrow, not as cold in the morning, down to 30. We go into the weekend just looking beautiful. Most well, Saturday and Sunday, there's going to be some wind out there, but we will be well into the 60s by Sunday. Any chance for some showers and thunderstorms late Sunday night into Monday as temperatures drop back into the lower 50s, but still running above average much of next week. All right, thank you, Kelly. Mm -hmm. Still to come on News 3 now at noon, Howard has a special recipe for this special day in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen. Today's recipe is leaping with lots of cheesy goodness. Something this good may not come around for another four years, so you better stick around. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Hurry into Menards. 11% off everything is happening now. For more than 65 years, Menards has been your one-stop shop for post-frame buildings. Receive free estimates when you design yours. Plus, get 11% off. We carry the largest selection of garage doors in stock. Or you can design your own using our garage door design program. This 9 by 7 garage door starts at $399.99 after 11% off. Save big money at Menards. This right here is confidence in a bottle. It makes me feel so much more confident than I've ever felt. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Annette Figaro is here to tell us why she says this one is for real. This one is for real and I'm so excited. We even have a video and all he uses is a small amount on a clean dry face. And what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes. And I did this to my father. We were at home, so we applied it to his under eye bags, and let me tell you, we were so excited, and 
in under 10 minutes, they visibly disappeared from view. And now it is literally part of both of our daily routines. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. At our $14.95 price, it's the best way to try Plexiderm and see it work after your first application. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. Want to instantly look more attractive and years younger? The solution is whiter teeth, but you love coffee and tea, maybe even wine or smoking, and all of them stain your teeth and make them yellow. It's time you discovered Power Swabs, the fast five-minute revolutionary treatment. The first time I tried it, I was so surprised. My husband was so excited that he wanted to run out and get it. He said, what have you been trying? I said, well, I've tried this product called Power Swab. And he said, I can't believe how white your teeth are. From that point on, I've been sold. Power Swabs are guaranteed to whiten your teeth up to two shades after the first application. After five minute daily treatments for the next week, your teeth will be an average of six shades whiter. Power Swabs will whiten natural teeth and remove stains from veneers, bonding, caps, and crowns. This is a Power Swab smile. This is a power swab smile. Call, go online, or scan the code on your screen right now to receive 50% off. You'll also receive the Power Swab Stain Out Quick Stick absolutely free. And in addition, you will also get free shipping. Today's February 29th, which means we're in a leap year. And for those of you celebrating a birthday today, happy birthday. You're in good company with notables like the late Dinah Shore and actor Antonio Sabato Jr as well as about four million other folks who only get to celebrate their actual birthday once every four years. Rather than showing you how to make a four-layer cake to celebrate this day, we decided to whip up a batch of our doubly good cheese pancakes, which are special enough for any birthday breakfast or dinner. To make them, we start by beating some cream cheese and cottage cheese together until they're well combined. Now to that, we add a good amount of eggs. Once they're combined, we mix in some breadcrumbs, melted butter, a bit of salt, and a little sugar. After this sits for about 10 minutes, so the breadcrumbs can absorb some of the liquid, we spoon the batter onto a hot butter griddle. But unlike regular pancakes, these are just as good served as a side dish for dinner as they are for the perfect rise and shine breakfast. I hope you'll go online and get the recipe for our double cheese pancakes so you can be armed with a recipe that'll have you leaping for joy. I'm Howard in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a special day kind of way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. It's time to introduce you to our pet of the week. Dane County Humane Society would like you to meet Carlotta. She's an adult pup who was found in Stoughton in early January. Carlotta's foster says she's very friendly and playful. She loves going for walks and playing with toys, especially Tug. Carlotta has met other dogs, but introductions should be done slowly. She's looking for a home with an older family. And since she's been at the shelter, for a bit, she's a member of DCHS's Lonely Hearts Club, and her adoption fee has been reduced to $100. Today is the last day for people to be able to go to Pets at Hounds Pet Food Warehouse. Make the leap to any Mounds location in Dane County to round up your purchase or choose an amount you wish to donate at the register to benefit Dane County Humane Society. Mounds will double donations that were made throughout February up to 20,000, helping anyone's generosity go even further. Learn more, visit at giveshelter.org slash events. And last week's Pet of the Week, Hyde, the dog featured uh, an iceberg there, the cat featured the week before, are still available for adoption as well. So if you're interested in adopting Carlotta or checking out the other animals at the Dane County Humane Society, go to giveshelter.org. Here's a final look at the forecast with Kelly. Yeah, nice afternoon underway. We've got the uh, sunshine and we're clawing out of the uh, 30s here shortly. We should be in the 40s, uh, maybe getting close to 50 this afternoon. Areas to the west, so a nice afternoon with the uh, sunshine. Just going to be a bit windy. It won't be quite as cold this evening. Temperatures falling back into the uh, 30s. Tomorrow, starting out at 30, warming up to 51, up to 60 Saturday. A lot of sunshine. 68 Sunday before we have a chance of showers and storms by Monday. Weekend's almost there, everybody, but those warm temps. Have a good Thursday.